Hey guys, this is Angelo from Vienna and today I'm gonna take you with me to the store to show you what I personally find to be the best keto snacks to eat when you're on the go or maybe when you're doing a movie night or something similar. I rarely find the need to snack on keto as the two meals I eat per day are usually enough for me. Nonetheless, here are the keto snacks I would personally buy if I wanted to eat something right away when I'm at the supermarket or out. First, of course, we have avocados which are a fantastic fat source on keto as you probably know. And if you didn't bring a spoon and a knife, you can probably get one at the supermarket. You might also be able to find some guacamole at this store. Next is celery, which we really like to eat with cream cheese, as well as almond butter. Especially my girlfriend Jofie loves to eat it with almond butter. Cucumbers are a great low-carb option as well, and we also like to mix them with cream cheese. Try to go for full-fat cream cheese, preferably organic. And as I mentioned, you can mix it with a ton of vegetables. It's gonna add a lot of flavor and it's gonna fill you up. Then we have full fat cheese. Slices are usually a little bit easier to eat on the go. Try to go for a full fat variant, preferably organic, so it has a better fat profile. And just pay attention that you don't go over your daily protein limit. Although it's still better to overeat protein than it is to overeat carbs. Pre-boiled eggs are a fantastic filling protein source on the go as they are 64% fat in calories. Just try and go with non-colored ones whenever possible. Coconut flakes are another great satisfying snack option. Oftentimes you can also buy pieces of fresh coconut as an alternative. Salads are also a great option and oftentimes you find them pre-mixed like in this case with some goat cheese, mozzarella or eggs. If you want to make the meal even more filling you could add a can of sardines in olive oil and add the olive oil as well. Dry sausage or pepperoni can also be a great snack on keto. Just try to go for organic here as well as it's gonna have higher quality fats in that case. You could also go for some fatty ham, bacon or salami, preferably organic. And you could have that for example with some vegetable like a cucumber, celery and some cream cheese. And some normal cheese as well if you want. Now one of my all time favorite snacks, olives. I like the ones with the seed already taken out, so it's easier to eat them right away. Another one of my favorite snacks are pickles. My girlfriend absolutely hates them, but I love them. Try to get ones that are in salts and don't have any added sugar or sweeteners. That way they're a fantastic low carb snack you can have any time. Let's get to the nuts. First of all, almonds of course, either blanched or whole. Since we're talking about almonds, almond butter is a fantastic snack option as well. It goes real well with celery as I already mentioned. Just pay attention not to overeat it. And you can make it at home quite easily so you don't have to spend all that money at the store because it's quite expensive usually. Of course also other nuts are great like walnuts, macadamia nuts which are the best but usually really expensive as well as brazil nuts or pecan nuts which are also very low in carbs. Just pay attention with cashews or pistachios as they're much higher in carbohydrates. Pumpkin seeds or sunflower seeds can also be great snack options. Try not to go for roasted nuts as they usually use very poor quality oils to roast them and the fats may already be oxidized because of the high temperature they use. They're also much easier to overeat when they're roasted and salted so pay attention. And here's the best snack if you're craving for something sweet. Dark chocolate. Try to go for 90% or higher so that the carb content is as low as possible. We really like the ones from Lind and have been eating them for many years. They also seem to have some of the lower sugar content from dark chocolates that we've seen. Still look at the carb content on the back and don't eat the whole thing. One or two squares are usually more than enough to satisfy your cravings. High quality pesto can also be a great snack option. We usually just spoon it straight out of the jar. If you're craving for some fruits, you can have a moderate amount of raspberries, strawberries or blackberries which have approximately 6 grams of net carbs per 100 grams. Blueberries have approximately 10 grams net carbs. Now some honorable mentions, pork rinds. They're often poor quality fat if it's from industry raised pork. Pay attention as they're really high in protein, 65 grams per 100 grams with 35 grams of fat. So try and just have a small portion. And if you're going for beef jerky, make sure they didn't add any sugars. This one is full of them. Cheese chips are another snack you can occasionally include on keto. Just pay attention as they're really high in protein. And you can very easily make them at home so you don't have to spend that much money in the store. So good news, they did not kick me out of the supermarket when filming, which was pretty sweet. I was still being as sneaky as possible though. Some foods I forgot to mention. Raw zucchini are a great option as well. Just slice them up and you can also eat them either with guacamole or with some cream cheese. I also forgot to mention tomatoes as well as green, yellow and red peppers. Artichokes can be a great snack as well. They just typically come in oil, so they're gonna be more of a mess to eat. Kale chips. 
these are usually really expensive for the small quantities that they sell them in. So I would rather just make your own and that way you can also use higher quality oil like coconut oil to bake them. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Maybe you were able to get some snack ideas for the future. Is there any keto food that you like to snack on that I forgot to mention? Please let me know in the comments below. It was a pleasure as always and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave me a like and to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.